Politics lead now. The drip, drip, drip of Hillary Clinton's emails continues. The State Department just released another batch of work-related emails that Clinton sent from her private email server while she was Secretary of State. They include an email to her daughter Chelsea, who used the pseudonym Diane Reynolds, that Republicans have seized on as evidence that Clinton misled the public about the cause of the Benghazi attacks. She publicly blamed that anti-Muslim video while privately emailing to Chelsea that it was terrorism. CNN senior political correspondent Brianna Keeler read through the emails. Brianna, these emails, no surprise, suggest that Clinton and her team were very focused on her political image throughout uh, her, her time at the State Department. Yeah, they did uh, very concerned and at times out of touch with the repercussions of some of her testimony. It's not surprising that Clinton's aides and friends were looking out for her, but it is fascinating to really pull back the curtain as they assured her that she never firmly committed to this notion that the attack on Benghazi was born out of a protest over a video depicting the Prophet Muhammad. The most memorable moment from Hillary Clinton's 2013 testimony on the terrorist attacks in Benghazi, Libya, that killed four Americans, including Ambassador Chris Stevens. Was it because of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? And emails newly released by the State Department show denial among top Clinton aides that that controversial moment in her testimony was damaging. As congratulatory messages from Clinton supporters poured in, longtime confidant Mark Penn aired this concern. I don't think the emotion in the hearing works to your advantage. Looks more like they rattled you on something no one outside the crazy right blamed you for anyway. But a top aide dismissed the assessment, emailing the secretary, give me a break. You did not look Look rattled, you looked real. There's a difference, a big one. Also in the batch, an email sent just hours after the attack from Clinton to Diane Reynolds, actually a pseudonym used by her daughter Chelsea, telling her two officers were killed today in Benghazi by an Al Qaeda like group. In a public statement that same night, Clinton raised the possibility that inflammatory material posted on the Internet, a reference to a video portraying the Muslim prophet Muhammad, was a precursor to the attack. Five days later, U.N. Ambassador Susan Rice expanded on the inaccurate assessment when asked about reports that Libyan officials had arrested suspects in the attacks. They're saying that uh, some people involved were from outside the country, that there might have even been al-Qaeda ties. What's the latest information? What this began as was a spontaneous, not a premeditated, uh, response to what had transpired in Cairo. Republicans have seized upon Clinton's emails to claim she was covering up the cause of the Benghazi attack for political reasons, less than two months from President Obama's re-election. You tell, you tell the American people one thing, you tell your family an entirely different story. You can live with a protest about a video. That won't hurt you. But a terrorist attack will. Clinton later explained that the discrepancy is confusion during a chaotic time. The fog of war is what she called it back in October. Republicans, though, Jake, say that she was lying to protect the administration's narrative that terrorists were on the run right before the president's re-election. It's the second time this narrative of terrorists on the run has come up during this show. Brianna Keeler, thanks so much. In our politics.